My name is Matt Crary. It's April 11th, 2023. Um, I was brought to Seattle over 20 years ago under false pretenses by a gang calling themselves ADWES, which purportedly stood for Abuse Deaf Women's Advocacy Service. Pittsburgh had unbeknownly decided that they would shine kindly if Seattle would take the victim of their social constructs off their hands and treat him as a regrettable souvenir of union duties. Adwoods was run by a woman named Kathy Hoog. Now, they reversed themselves. They didn't want my case at first, but they reversed themselves when Jeannie was right. Since um, the line of propaganda that came from Peter Gabriel's real world was that she was um, sacrificed to his critical race theory mercifully because they didn't transmit AIDS during the rape, um, was echoed by Kathy Hoke's publication, Enough But Not Enough meaning that Seattle was still going to do some uh, what Walker Percy called delectations of despair. And they licky chopped some ripper murders and some poison crimes. I know Parkinson's and so forth. Poison me in the mouth to announce COVID. The various other things that the monstrosity called Seattle does to people. That's not really enough to tell you what's going on. But they're crafty, you know, they even call themselves crafties. In various terms of their absurdity. Why does more than what I've already said need to be said to understand how absurd Seattle is. Well, they locked me up after murdering someone because I wouldn't threaten them. They needed a threat to justify years and years of their um, social construct. And a psychiatrist wrote down, I kid you not, he believes he was kidnapped and tortured as a child. The most insinuating, ungracious, insulting thing that I have ever read. And yet she said this in the, uh, off the top of her head with great authority and force because she knew that was the role Seattle had, asked, had been asked to play from Pittsburgh and they were in line of cahooters. They were going to line up to make this thing happen and that was final. They kept me out of school, said I was a troublemaker, would never succeed in school. But the truth was, when I finally got free long enough to go to school, I made honors and graduated. And uh, finessed my diploma with a couple honor society certificates. And they never apologized. Even when the people who tortured me and ran me out of town were arrested in multi-million dollar hands, Museum Heights. They kept right on bagging the gun. The property is ours. The money is ours. And you say, what property, what money? And they say, there is no black market. What's going on? Is Seattle and Pittsburgh corruption is so over the top that they can get away with this and slap five openly at the mouth poison crime barbershop with Pino Gabriel because it's his critical race theory. Now, there's critical race there and there's critical race there, right? And we all want Black Horizons to teach about slavery and uh, degradation of Black people so that our society gets over it and learns to embrace one another. And we want mental health programs so Black people don't just sit around nursing their grudges like Second Amendment hillbilly whites. 
and then going berserk, you know. And we want reform. I want reform of Hollywood, so these kinds of Rambo incidents aren't being encouraged constantly. Seattle CRT and Peter Gabriel CRT is just the opposite. They lick each chops over these incidents because they want to make movies about them and get people excited and get top dollar. And social contract that was put together by Seattle Psychiatry and the University of Pittsburgh is not only a hoot and an insult and a grim, grim reminder of how corrupt they are. It was an investment in the movie. And they are still taking prisoners, still taking, knocking off victims. And they can't get enough of it. When you say there's CRT and there's CRT, there's legitimate CRT and there's active shooter CRT, which is what's going on with Seattle and Pittsburgh. It comes from the hooligan mind of Peter Gabriel. People should really get it through their heads that this man is off his rocker. I got no problem with him. I'm... I'm ashamed to admit I actually believed him when he said he was from Amnesty International. 